been an eternity from December 1st to right now today. I mean, it's uh, even though it's only been three months, it's exciting. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of anxiety right now um, out on the field and with coaches. I don't know who's more nervous right now, the kids or the coaches. And uh, but again, just excited about the start of this thing. Our guys have worked really hard to get to this point, so so we'll see. When you start with a new team, what are the first steps that you do in your first practices? Well, walk through how we line up in practice. I mean, literally, you take you don't take anything for granted. You go straight from how we approach the field, what we do when we get on the field, to how we get off the field. So we haven't taken anything for granted. So we we basically started with how the, the flow and the organization of practice is going to go. What are your expectations for the year? Well, you know, it, my expectations are, are, you know, we want to get their absolute best, whatever the best is. We're going to get their best, and uh, we want these guys to, to to enjoy the journey, and and that's what we're on right now. We're truly on the journey, and, and you know, we're not going to focus on the destination at this point. We're just going to focus on today, focus on spring ball, and uh, and just a short. The, the the one thing we can control is what we do today, and then we'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow, and uh, whatever that means at the end of this year. We'll know we got their absolute best, and our coaches are going to give their absolute best. A couple of guys have said they're trying new positions this spring. Was that you going to them, or did they come to you and lobby for a shot at another spot? Well, a little bit of both. A little bit of both. You know, something you know that fit, that you kind of fit our personnel and fit what we're after uh, from an offense and a defense. And, and we've had to ask some guys to make some changes, and and they've been really receptive. And again, they're hungry. These guys. That's the one thing I can say. These guys are hungry. Uh, they feel that they feel like that uh, you know the way the year went last year is you know, they let a, they let themselves down they let the university down they let a fan base down and, and they're not going to do that they're not they're, they're 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 determined and whatever it takes not to do that again and, and uh, so you know this is uh, some stability we're giving them right now so excited let's 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 go have some fun. It's been an interesting offseason for you. You got a Twitter account for your advisor. You're hanging out with Tony <laughs> Romo. I mean, now that you're actually back to football, does it feel a little bit more normal? It is. I, you know, obviously when you're on the grass, that, that's kind of you're in your element. But I, again, I'm just a I'm just a high school coach. Coach has been blessed to coach college football, and and uh, very honored to be here. And it's, it's a privilege to be the head coach at SMU. And uh, and I can promise you this: we're going to give our absolute best to, to capture the energy and the excitement that Larry's done in basketball. And, and when he's proven. Can be done, and and we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to get it right, um, and it's going to take a lot of hard work. But these guys are definitely bought in. You mentioned some of the guys that have stood out during conditions. Well, you know, and that's really hard to do um, because there's been so many. They've they've really all bought in, and, and and so I really don't want to go out and mention anybody's name at this point. But they've all worked hard. They're working extremely hard, and um, so we'll see. But again, that was that was winter conditioning. And we'll see what from today to April 18th, and, and maybe after a, April 18th, then we can talk a little bit more about that. I know you've, been, I know you've increased like, the tempo of the training now. Just practice. Just, just well, just hang on and watch. It's, it, it'll be. It, it, we'll see where these guys are here about period eight through this practice. They may be. Uh, they may be tongue dragging a little bit, but it'll be unlike something they've never been a part of. How fast it's going to go. When you got hired and brought in Tremaine Carroll as your strength coach, what were the objectives you asked him to develop in your players? Mental toughness. Mental toughness. We had to strain these guys. We had to push them harder than they ever thought they could be pushed. And uh, Tremaine has been an absolute home run hit in what he's done. Home run. Of all the coaches I've hired, Tremaine Carroll has been a grand, he's been a grand slam, slam dunk, however you want to call it. Those guys have bought in and they believe in him and what he's doing and been very pleased with that. And, and uh, because they believe in him and what he set the tone for this this spring ball, uh, they're, they're giving everything they got. Sometimes coaches take over a team and they'll say it'll take two or three years to implement an offense or a defensive scheme. Is yours a scheme that'll take a couple of years or is this a scheme you can implement now and then just perfect yeah. in the years ahead? Well, we're going to implement it now and then perfect it as it goes, but I, I don't, I'm not a real patient person, so I, I, I can't see two years in advance right now. I'm, I'm just looking at today and spring ball and see how this thing goes, but uh, you know, obviously it's going to take some time, but hey, it can be done. We'll see. Is there a goal for this first practice? What's How next? fast we can possibly go. Looking at the quarterback position, are there certain things we're looking for? Yeah, you know, obviously you want a guy that's gonna that's gonna run the show, a guy that's gonna be in charge and, and confident and be able to extend plays with his feet. And uh, but more importantly, a guy that people want to play for. And, uh, and so obviously, you know, we got Matt and we got several others behind him, and it'll be an interesting battle all the way through spring. 
So in your mind, Matt gets at least the first snaps today? Yeah, Matt will start us out. Matt will start us out, and we'll, we'll go from there. But you, when you're 1-11, there's no job secure. You recruited Matt at Clemson. I did. How different is he from the guy you remember as a high school senior? He, he's the same guy. He's the same guy. I'm excited to be able to reunite with him, and and uh, he's been able to, to meet some of my, I guess, some of our, some of our former players out here and, and be able to hang out. It's kind of, it's, it's really becoming a family, and, and uh, so we'll see. We'll, I'm excited about that. You brought your offensive coordinator from Clemson, Coach Craddock, but you're obviously known as an offensive yeah. guy, and I guess most people assume you're calling the plays. What is Coach Craddock's role in teaching this offense? Well, you know, Matt or uh, uh, Joe has helped me out so much in the game planning of things, and um, and I'm just telling you, he's he's been instrumental in our success at Clemson uh, as a GA, as my GA, and that's why I, I, I brought him and hired him in the capacity I did. And, and obviously, I'm, I'm going to call the plays, and I'll work in tandem, just as we did in Clemson to call the plays. And uh, he'll be in the box; I'll be on the field, and, and uh, we got a great relationship. And uh, he knows what I'm, I'm about in our meeting room. So there's times I'm not going to be able to be in meetings, and I fully trust him with, with the ins and outs of this offense. Some coaches who have a, an extensive background on one side of the ball or the other almost leave the other side alone. How much will you interact with the defensive staff, or do you leave that entirely to Coach Malone and just show up on Saturday and count on him to have it ready? No, 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 no. We, we've, got a, we've got a relationship in which I'm going to be involved defensively and, and in the understanding of things, but for the most part, it's going to be, uh, you, know, uh, you know, I've hired him to be the defense coordinator, but I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to have some interaction in it as well.